Hello, greetings to my esteemed colleagues and our wonderful guests. And this is Ola Yinka Keru, aka Jack Lukman. You're welcome to the final part um, for day two, and this is part four. So I'm going to be talking about empowerment and inspiration. So let's dive in. Now let's talk a bit about mentoring and coaching. Could you be a mentor or could you be mentored? Could you make referrals? Could you collaborate? Could you make a difference? If you wish to discuss further, please visit Jack's Mentoring 101 or you can visit um, jacksempowerment.com or look for business um, business chat with Jack Lukman and we can take this further. Now let's talk about mindset. Like they say, mindset is the foundation of either boom or doom. If we get it right, sooner or later we will prosper. But, but if we get it wrong, we could continue in misery. We could build those strong foundations. We could leverage the internet. We could curate content to add societal value. We could individually add those drops of water until it makes a mighty ocean. And if we don't complete the job, others could follow suit. As engineers, we have multiple capabilities, a lot more than equations. We have a lot of skills, both latent and otherwise. Let's dig into our reservoir and bring out the best of us. Or is it the best in us? A lot of our compatriots excel in diaspora. A lot also excel in Nigeria. Some of those that we serve abroad are not more qualified or knowledgeable than us. They have opportunity, systems, the will to succeed, etc. The situation in the country is dire. We could sit, blame everyone and avoid the problems or we could intentionally confront the problems. With each of us making a contribution and moving little steps in the right direction, we'll reach the promised land sooner than expected. We believe a lot in prayers. Could we make as part of an alternative anthem praying for good leaders and good followers? Could we groom desirable leaders at different levels of the landscape? Be mindful that the Chinese or the West will not solve all our problems. They are more interested in their interests. If we sleep for too long, we lose all the resources we think that we own and much may not come out of it. We need to work on mindset across board and have self-belief in improving our collective tomorrow. We are the best people to solve our problems. We know where it hurts and have the ways and means. We shouldn't pass the buck all, we shouldn't pass all the buck sitting and watching, but be more engaged in finding lasting solutions. Now let's talk a bit about monetization. There are different ways of monetizing and different parts of the value chain. Each of us is endowed with different capabilities. We could join resources to make it whole. Some leverage digital pursuits some leverage physical pursuits, and some leverage both. The digital pursuit is my preference. 
It's my pers- it suits my personality and budget. It also suits my long-term goals. Making money isn't usually straightforward or guaranteed. Most people pay prices in one form or another. Some pay, pay for training and mentoring. Some pay for mistakes. Some pay through pain and sweat. Some pay by being defrauded. Some pay through sleepless nights. Some pay professional fees, etc. If you are properly guided and mentored, there is a chance of greatly minimizing or avoiding losses. Like they say, nothing good comes easy. You need to keep trying and learning and persevering until eventually success comes. After doing your best and exploring all options, if you still do not succeed, it may be time to count your losses and explore other opportunities. However, if you have a good business plan, the chances of failure are minimized. And remember that if you fail, you could create useful content and monetize for those who want to avoid your pitfalls. Now let's talk about outsourcing. Each of us has different strengths and are a part of the jigsaw. Some are creative, some are entrepreneurial, some are academic, some are professional, etc. However, to make the puzzle all whole, we need to we need other components. We could collaborate, we could outsource, etc. I shall talk more on collab on collaboration on day five by God's grace. To outsource, you could leverage different freelance platforms on the internet. For example, People Per Hour, Freelancer, Upworks, Fiverr, etc. You need to spell out your requirements clearly and will need to pay the freelancer and the platform. In my opinion, it's a cost-effective way of getting things done. Please contact me if you require further information. Now let's talk about platforms. If you intend to pursue digital entrepreneurship, different digital platforms could that you may consider are you may leverage you may leverage um, social media, podcasts, Amazon, membership site, blog, WhatsApp, Telegram, etc. Now let's talk about resource management. Some resources are time, money, skills, network, exposure, good health, experience, privilege, etc. These are gifts from God. How do you manage them? Do you use them wisely? Do you squander them? Do you leverage them? Do you value them? Are you conscious of them? If you were to account for those gifts, will you pass or will you fail? Do you give this any thought? Or are you happy enough living life and continuing the grind? Now let's talk about spirituality. We cannot complete our Nigerian stories without including spirituality. Though we may be of different faiths, we are apparently very, very religious. Some use it negatively and some abuse it. In my opinion, if properly leveraged, it could do you wonders. 
Most of the teachings are evergreen with lots of wisdom. It's a tool that I leverage in good times as well as in difficult times. Now let's talk briefly about volunteering. In the context of work, volunteering is offering your services for little or nothing. In the process, you, you could gain skills and experience. You could leverage networking opportunities. It may even be a step in the door for employment. Though some people believe that volunteering is a waste of time and resources, in my opinion, it has great value. Now, here's my brief volunteering journey. Most of my volunteering was in the religious sector. I worked in different roles, such as public relations secretary, economic empowerment secretary, treasury secretary, fundraising, etc. It was through volunteering that I found my purpose. Some of the benefits gained were confidence, networking opportunities, useful experience, interpersonal skills, leadership skills, enhanced spirituality, team working, etc. You may consider watching my YouTube video. It's titled, Is Voluntary Work Really Free? So you can check it if you search for that and include Jack Lugman. Hopefully you'll find it on YouTube. Now, before I finish, let me talk about working on teenagers. Is it important to invest in our teenagers and our youths in order to have a better tomorrow? Are they too young? Will it take a lifetime? Will they grow in the twink of an eye? Could that tomorrow become yesterday? Or should we not, not bother and just sit down and watch the seashore flow? In my own little way, I create useful, practical, and beneficial content. Some of them are paid and others are free. Please feel free to check jacklookmanlimited.com for a full range of my products and services. And as for the teenagers, you can visit our blog. It's called Life Lessons for Teenagers. So I hope you got some value from this presentation. If so, please register your feedback. Please visit jacklookmanlimited.com for our range of products and services. If what we do resonates with you and you wish to take it further, please contact me via book a, cha book a chat with Jack Lukman. You should find this on our website, jacksempowerment.com. Thank you once again for your time. This is Jack Lukman signing off. Ireo Irekabiti. This is the end of the series. This is the end of part four and the end of the content for day two. Thank you very much.